So, it is the 9th of August at uh, 5.44 a.m. Uh, I have not been able to get to sleep tonight, and I just figured I would go browsing around the internet for whatever reason. And uh, I came across a particular video that was released by BBC News and, of course, quite a few other news places. I believe this was all released yesterday and uh, on the on the 8th of August. And I do believe that this has probably already been discussed or looked at or talked about and stuff like that. And uh, just something that kind of came up that I wanted to talk about myself. Now, obviously, of course, I have not been doing videos like this for quite some time. I haven't even done regular videos at all for quite some time. I've mostly just been doing live streaming. But this was just a video that I kind of wanted to talk about because I saw so many people blowing up about it and so many people getting so butthurt and just crazy psycho about it. And I just I figured I would give my two cents on it and I'll go ahead and show you the video now. So let's go and look at that. North Korea does not make any more threats to the United States. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. He has been very threatening uh, beyond a normal state. And as I said, they will be met with fire, fury, and frankly power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. Thank you. So as you saw from that video, uh, Trump did what Trump does best, which is open his mouth and then immediately stick his foot right in it. Um, unfortunately, one of the reasons why I don't like Trump is because he doesn't think before he speaks. And uh, anybody with reasonable cognitive faculties would be able to hear what he just said and go, Yeah, yeah, I can agree. He's going to nuke North Korea. I mean, I, even I thought that originally when I first heard it, but I, given it more thought, you know, I, I, I realized that's not obviously the case. But to be honest with you, when I first heard it, my first thoughts was, is he going to whip out like some kind of weapon that we've never seen before and just wipe North Korea off the face of the planet? But I digress. In the long run, if you really actually listen to what he's saying and you take into account all the different things that have been going on and everything else along those lines what he says is not exactly extremely unreasonable the, the fact of the matter is is that korea is has been asking for conflict pretty much for a long time now um especially with all the things that they've been talking about like as of recently with their engagements in conflict with south korea as well as with japan and of course always constantly with us uh, they're always con and then, and then of course with the current more and most recent thing where they've actually create supposedly created a smaller nuclear warhead that can actually be fit into a ballistic missile which is kind of a big thing and we specifically told them never to do so if they have in fact done that then that's kind of a big deal so we kind of have to do something about that anyways moving on from that the fact of the matter is, is that what trump said is kind of just a simple in response to what North Korea has been doing as of recently. The fact of the matter is, is that if North Korea keeps up the crap that they've been doing, then we have no choice as, well, basically the world police at this point, to do something about it. Because you know the UN is not going to do anything about it, and you know no one else is going to do anything about it, so we have to do something about it. We can't just basically say, hey, you can't have nukes, and then they go and build nukes, and they go like, haha, we have nukes, and then just not do anything about it. You know what I mean? Especially when they're constantly threatening to, to just nuke South Korea with it. Or nuke Japan. Or nuke us. I mean, I don't know about you, but I don't want to be nuked. I'm hoping nukes don't ever land. I'm hoping that no one ever nukes. And more than likely, it never will. Because nukes aren't exactly something that can people can just do. And I want to point out to everybody who's like still on the whole psycho crazy, oh, Trump's going to nuke everything. I want everyone to know that there's not just like a button at the desk in the White House. There's not just a button that has every country's name on it and he can just go, oh, I want to nuke North Korea today. It's not how it works, okay? There's not a big button. So stop thinking that. Okay. Now that we've got that taken care of. The fact is, is that North Korea has been getting into a lot of conflict with us. And we have to react. Now I'm hoping, and this is my hope, and not maybe unrealistic as it may be, 
it is my hope that we will find ourselves in more of a situation where we just take care of it a little bit more diplomatically, uh, or perhaps we just take care of it in more of a surgical strike kind of thing. Uh, that's what I'm kind of hoping for is surgical strike because Kim Jong-un is kind of psycho and kind of would be nice if we got rid of him. But, y y you know. But regardless, the fact is is that we, we have to take into a lot of things into account. There's, there's so many things that we have to really take into account when it comes to this. For one, for example, uh, China and, Nor and Russia are both allies to North Korea. And the fact of the matter is is that if we go to co in conflict with North Korea, we could also be going into conflict with them. And starting a world war is not exactly the smartest move right now. Now, that also being said, um, Russia and China have kind of like a really sensitive link with North Korea right now. They don't really like what North Korea has been doing either. You know, they, in fact, as far as I'm aware of, China has been basically saying, hey, cool your jets to North Korea quite a lot. Um, however, the other problem is, of course, is both China and North Korea, or both China, North Korea and Russia all kind of hate us. So it's very possible that Russia and China might just join North Korea in, in, you know, helping them with the conflict just simply because they despise us. So, who knows? Moving on from that, though, I don't really think that we're going to actually go to a war. And if we do, it's more than likely going to be boots on the ground. It's going to be fought like any other war. It's going to be won by soldiers. Um, because we don't have AI yet. Anyways. The point, though, is, is that we're going to have submarines on the outside of North Korea. We'll have ships. We'll have soldiers. We've already got soldiers basically over there who have all been in conflict for the last, like, what, 12 years now? Because we've been at war with the Middle East for basically since the year 2000. And the fact is, is that since we have such a battle-ready uh, military, we might just very well be able to just throw our military right over there like that because it's almost all over there anyways and then we're basically good to go and we'll just take it over now of course with that being said i don't actually believe that if we do end up going to conflict with north korea that it's going to be just something super easy and the conflict is just going to be over and done with within a day or something like that you know what i mean it's probably going to be something a little more along the lines of like a couple of years if only just because of the fact that we are looking at a military build-up country, like a country with a military build-up that's been going on since, like, the Korean War, which the last time I checked was sometime in the 60s, I think. Pretty sure. Not sure. Please go on ahead and, you know, correct me. It's, like I said, 6 o'clock in the morning now at this point. So, don't really know. But the fact is, is that the Korean War, it's been they've been building up since like the Korean War. So they have probably billions of dollars in military assets, even despite the fact that they might be a little outdated. And every so every person in the North Korea in North Korea has had to be conscripted into the you know military. So the fact is is that they all have military training and they all are gonna get conscripted immediately if we go to war with them. So we're going to be fighting basically a giant army of not necessarily super well-trained, but, you know, semi-well-trained individuals who are pretty much just fighting for their own survival at that point. Because they're either going to die by their own country's hand or they're going to die by ours. So, they're only, go they're only you know, their best guess or best bet would be to just go ahead and fight us. Because they're going to die for sure if they try to go back. Anyways. In the long run, I do really hope, and I wholeheartedly believe that we shouldn't go to war, and I really hope that we don't. But I do believe that if we do, we are not going to be seeing fire and brimstone, and we're not going to be seeing nukes. We're just going to be seeing boots on the ground and probably American lives being lost on foreign soil once again. Which is something I can't say I'm really appreciative of. But anyways... That's just another video from me, your friend Mecha Draco. And of course, if you like this video, you know the drill by now. Go on and hit that like button. If you really liked it, go on and hit that share button. And if you loved it and you haven't already, go on and hit that subscribe button. And of course, as always, guys, good luck out there. Don't forget to have fun.